To roll or not to roll, that is the question facing many baby boomers today as they try to decide whether or not to roll an old 401k into something else. Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryan, is here to explain. Daryl is one of the area's leading financial advisors. He hosts a weekly retirement radio show in Omaha that airs Saturday mornings on 1110 KFAB, and he helps folks in Omaha plan for retirement. Good morning, Daryl. Good How morning. I'm good. So good. these old 401ks, when you talk about old 401ks, you're talking about a, a, an account that's been sitting there, maybe I've been contributing to. Uh, define that for us. Old 401ks, generally, if somebody hears, if we hear that, that means where I used to work, I've left my job, right? And so I've left behind the old 401k. Mm -hmm. The question is, what am I supposed to do with that? Am yeah, I supposed okay. to roll that? Could I just leave it gotcha. there? Could I roll it to my new 401k at my new employer? So there's lots of options. Yeah. So people aren't really sure what to do with those old 401ks, correct? Right. So what do you give, you know, what advice do you give to baby boomers and those people out there? The first thing I would say is know that you have options. When you consider rolling a 401k, regardless of what the triggering event is, if you consider rolling the 401k, there are a lot of opportunity, opportunities for you to pick up either more features, lower fees. Obviously, the entire universe opens up in terms of what you have to choose from. I can go to index funds versus mutual funds. I might want to I might want to have asset lock or some sort of portfolio monitoring device on my stuff, right? The main thing to know is you do have options and they're probably pretty good ones. Uh, bec again, because the entire world opens up for what you can do with, a, with your life's work, with your life savings. Yeah, a lot of baby boomers face this decision, don't they? Is that what you find sure. throughout working with them? Sure, anytime, uh, here's some triggering events. W when can I roll my 401k if I leave a job? Oftentimes if there is a vendor change on your 401k, in other words, we were with vendor A, now we're going to vendor B. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes they'll give you an opportunity to go ahead and roll out and then just start from scratch with the new one. Age 59 and a half is typically a triggering event where you can take a withdrawal from your 401k even though you're not retiring, right? Age 59 and a half withdrawal provision, they call it, right? Mm -hmm. Just fancy way of saying when you're 59 and a half, you can roll your bucks out mm -hmm. and then leave and then start, uh, continue to enjoy the company match and just start piling it up again until uh, you do retire. So what if you don't roll it over? Uh, what are the drawbacks to keeping your 401k money right where it is? Yeah, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I got uh, it. <laughs> so we created a couple of things here. Thanks to Jennifer, where am I going with this thing? Okay, over here. All right, so here is a little chart. And what I wanna do is I want to show you guys what the difference in fees. The main thing that you're gonna pick up if you roll your 401k is a difference in fees. So if you can see by this chart, are we just looking at this on the monitor? Yeah, just they on the monitor. Okay. Yep. okay, fantastic. So if we look at the fees that a person might pay, a 35 year old starts out putting $10,000 away is what this chart is showing. If he has a 2% fee attached to his 7% return, he's gonna have a future value when he's 65 of that lower number. It's gonna be about $697,000. Mm -hmm. But look at the top number. The top number is $919,000. That's the same parking place, the same 7% rate of return, linear is what is assumed here, and he has $919,000 if he has just a half a point mm -hmm. fee. Wow, so you're, you're getting so close there's, to So there's a $220,000 difference. That's a difference, that's purely fees. That's all that is, yeah. right? Wow, you're getting close to a million dollars on the top, but you're just under $700,000. That's exactly long. right. So it's really, really, the, what you'll pay in fees over your lifetime is an enormous amount. The average worker, average worker, Mike, is gonna pay about $138,000 in fees mm -hmm. during their lifetime. Now I wanna show you another one. This one I'll pull up on, the, on my little yeah. uh, board here. Can we see this? All right, now I wanna to talk to the older worker, and this could not be more important. Look at this. So you're, you're at work and you have a, uh, you're, we're a pre pretty good sized company, you've been there for 35 years. Now you are that 62 year old, that 65 year old, all right? With a 2% mm -hmm. fee, look at this. If you have a really big 401k and you have a 2% fee, $2 million account, for example, big account, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's a $40,000 annual fee that you're paying. And you annual? Made, annual fee. Jeez. $40,000, that's $400,000 in 10 years. Here's what, the point I wanna make. Big account, meaning about a million dollars, you're gonna pay 20,000 a year. Remember, because it's a function of simply a percentage of the total. But look at the guy at the bottom, the starter guy. He has $50,000 in his account. He's just 35 years old, starting out, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he's only paying $1,000. Here's the deal. Look at the bottom line for the same service. I, want you, I, I really need you to think on this for this very reason. If you are sitting next to a 35-year-old at work, mm -hmm. you have the same service, such as right now. <laughs> uh, you have the same service. He's getting the same service 
as you are, and you have a say a million dollar mm -hmm. account, mm -hmm. but you're paying way, way, way more in fees, aren't you? Simply because it's a percentage of the total. But what do you get out of the deal? Really? The same service. The same service. What do you do? You go to the quarterly meeting, you all pile into the to, to the auditorium, uh, the, the, the guy comes by to do his quarterly deal, you do a risk, maybe a risk tolerance questionnaire or something like that, you submit it, and off you go, and then you, you, you know, and maybe he says a few words that kind of go over your head, yeah. but there's no personal service. You're no closer to knowing if you're able to retire. Mm -hmm. yeah. You really probably haven't taken away anything that is going to be useful for you in terms of managing those dollars, right? Yeah. right. And you're supposed to be an expert at it, and pretty soon you've got to be your own pension manager. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. big deal. You should be getting something for the service. That's yeah. the main Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. That's the point you're talking about. Some out there are still watching, still aren't sure whether or not what they should do with a, an old 401k. What steps should they take? What do you recommend they do? Well, we need to do an x-ray. So yeah. we're going to, uh, if you'll just bring your 401k, if that's something you'd like to do, or you don't have an income plan, remember you own this because you're trying to generate lifetime income when you get ready to retire. You don't want to run out of money one day. Mm -hmm. The main thing is stress test, let's see what's going on in there, and then see if you'd be better off by entertaining moving. Right. Well, if you would like to get a 401k stress test to find out how much you are paying in fees and if you might be better off rolling that money over into something else, Daryl and his team are offering to provide one free of charge today for the first 10 callers who get through and qualify. Yeah, the first 10 callers. Listen, grab, gra grab your phone, dial the number right there, 402-932-2141. Again, that number is 402-932-2141 to receive that 401k stress test free of charge. Okay. dbryantretirementstrategies.com is a website that you can go right. to as well. That's it. Great information. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah, good you, stuff. So Thank you so much. Yeah. You guys have a good day. You, you too. You too.